Global Medical Innovation Program is mostly a thing of fate to me. I was studying biomedical engineering here in Costa Rica, but before that I really wanted to go to Rice. Unfortunately, I couldn't go, so I just filed that dream for later. So the purpose of the course out of nowhere, I go to this random presentation in another college I was just killing time and getting to know more about biomedical engineering abroad, I didn't know that RISE was going to be there. And that's where I met Dr. Richardson from the GMI program. I learned about it, fell in love with it, and that's when it all started. The purpose of the program is to prepare engineers for leadership positions in the global medical device industry. Students who come out of our program really are able to design devices and collaborate with engineers to find local solutions to problems. So for example, Luis, he was inspired in the program to come back down to Costa Rica and he's working in his business right now as a microbiologist but also to further develop his business in the area of medical devices. At first, maybe my scope was a little unambitious. I was only thinking about helping my own community, my own country. And it wasn't until I entered the GMI program that I realized that you have to think big. You have to think, and how do I use this bioengineering knowledge into solving a broader scale, global scale problem? I knew after I graduated, I wanted to pursue engineering. And I heard about a lot of master's programs, and RICE has a really great one that I know some people who have done it. And GMI specifically is really different from a lot of the other programs in that it has a very like immersive experience involved, like coming to Costa Rica, getting the global aspect of engineering. So the way the program structured is we spend the first two and a half months with the students here in Costa Rica. And then the students go back to Rice for two semesters in the fall and in the spring. And we provide them design-based curriculum in medical devices and then also bioengineering in general. Why we do that is that we want them to get some experience under their belts that makes the learning in the fall and in the spring so much more meaningful. I wanted to be the one who actually did the helpful work and that's exactly what we're going to get to do. We get to do clinical trials and um, I, I've actually been looking forward to hearing all of these uh, projects. So much of what we learn in school is, is how to design and how to build things or you know, how to innovate. You know, we hear a lot of the word innovation, but a lot of the work that we see in devices and maybe a lot of the things that we see today is implementation. And so these projects are a really great introduction to look past the design stage to sort of say, hey, we've, we've taken this design, but now we need to see, say, how do we get this design to a patient? What excites me the most is that we can have a union with uh, people that are, has an expertise in developing things. When Rice told us that they were working with a project that could help people's lives directly related to dialysis, which is a big issue here in, in our province where university, uh, Invenu University is, we thought this, this is something we need to jump on. And that's really what we want out of the program is that students are inspired to work with people in global markets, not just the U.S., but across the world uh, to develop devices for their own hospitals, for their own countries, and, and, for, and, and for the benefit of their own people.